Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy. Hello, friends, and Merry Christmas. Welcome to Christmas Morning Breakfast. Our hosts are I'm Merely Melissa and Christie's Farmhouse. You'll find their links to their their channels in my description box as well as the playlist and the playlist will also be in the comment section so you can go check out all these fabulous amazing delicious christmas breakfasts to give you new ideas for your christmas breakfast this year today i will be making quiche and bisquick blueberry coffee cake Okay, we're going to add some bacon up in here, which is basically, if you have bacon grease, you don't need this. But I don't have bacon grease, so we're going to use a little bacon up. This will give your, this will give your um, vegetables, anything you fry in it, a better flavor than just butter or just oil. You know, that old time cooking, uh, that's what they fried everything in, is bacon grease and lard and what they had on hand. They didn't buy the cooking oil. My mom always saved her bacon grease. I saved mine, but uh, a lot of times I don't have enough. So with our flat top, I buy the bacon up. That's one onion chopped. Dang, I didn't know I, I forgot to take the core out. Two cans of drained mushrooms. Because we're mushroom lovers. If you're not, you can skip it. You can add so many different things in this. You can add spinach. You can add broccoli. You can basically take things you have in the garden and add it into your quiche. But right now I don't have anything. You could add green pepper. Right now I don't have anything in the garden so I'm adding just this. And we're gonna fry these until the, until the onions gets brown or translucent, and we'll be back. You hear something while our onions is frying. While our onions fried, I thought I'd come over here and, yes, I'm cheating. It's okay. It's okay to cheat sometimes. My mom would, would, had the best pie crust ever and nobody knew nobody knew that that pie crust they were bragging about and telling her how wonderful it was came from the jiffy box so it's okay And this crust is going to be a mess because this isn't rolling out very well. But it's okay. Just some people won't won't get as many calories where 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 it's cracked, I guess. Don't just be saving on calories right here. Since it's 
it's a covered crust and not the top, I guess nobody will ever know. Don't tell anybody. I was going to use this crust for apple dumplings. Sure glad I didn't. Okay, now we'll get it right. Okay, this is two cups of real bacon. Bits crumbled, bit real bacon crumbled. And I'm going to add six eggs. Whisk in there, get the eggs all whisked up. We're going to add a half a cup of milk to this. Give that a stir. And like I said, you could add spinach to this. You could add some broccoli to this. You can add, this is basically, you could, you could add carrots, whatever you had. You could add a lot of stuff you have in the garden. Or in your fridge that needs to be used up to enhance your quiche. Here's our crust, which turned out awful, but it'll be edible. It won't be pretty, but it'll be good. It'll be pretty good. So here we go. This is our fried onions and mushrooms that I added to this. And the mixture that I made with the milk and the bacon and the six eggs, that's going to go in next. Ooh, we have a bacon clump. Who doesn't love a bacon clump? I'll have to stir that around a little. My husband would love that. Just stir this, push your bacon around so everybody gets some. Because my, my husband will want the piece with all the bacon. Just saying. If you haven't checked him out, he's over at Thad's Honeydew List. Probably saying goofy things about me too. But he just calls me the wife. But anyway, now we're going to add cheddar cheese. I don't know, maybe a cup and a half of cheddar cheese. Y'all know on this channel, we don't measure cheese. No, we just can't measure cheese over here. The biggest thing is to make sure your cheese covers the top and has a nice layer so it's, it's, it's that nice layer of cheese on the top, you know. And there's our quiche. Like I said, you could add 
spinach to this. You could add broccoli to this. You could add a lot of different vegetables to this, but my garden's not in, so I didn't have those, but this is a nice little Christmas breakfast thing to have with family, and they'll think you're fancy. There's our quiche out of the oven. thirds cup of water one egg teaspoon of vanilla teaspoon of cinnamon this is optional and I have a bag of blueberries, so I'm gonna may put like a couple blueberries in there. And we're going to stir this around. Half a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna just spray it with some baking spray. And then I'll be right out with a tablespoon of brown sugar. Tablespoon of vanilla. A third cup of our Bisquick. So I'll probably be able to empty this package. teaspoon of cinnamon and I'm going to just use the same this will go on the top it's like a crumble I think I'm gonna add a little bit more brown sugar And I got a ton of blueberries, so I might add a sprinkle of blueberries in this. A 
We're going to add this on the top. And bake this at 350 because our pan requires us not to go above 350. And this is our morning coffee cake. You could use apples in this. You could use raspberries. It's whatever's on hand or the cheapest thing right now at the girls. This is our coffee cake right out of the oven. 